Hey guys, what is up? It is Arthur Gets Reapers here. Today I'm bringing you my first Hits and Tricks video for the brand new map that just came out today for Elite Members Only called Black Box. So um, this is going to help you guys out knowing how to navigate through this map when you get it, or if you have Elite, just knowing how to navigate through this map in general. So um, this is mostly for domination, but this can be a universal for all the gamers. So um, first thing is first is where you spawn. Um, actually, let's start with the class. This is my recommended class. It's an ACR Suppressor Extended Mag. The reason is because you want to stay suppressed, and since this map is mostly either a sniper-dominated map and an assault rifle-dominated map, which means it's long distance, you want to have that long distance range with no recoil. You want to be able to know that you're going to be able to get those kills and hit the shot. Um, your secondary doesn't really matter. I just chose the Magnum Tack Knife, so that's my usual. So I can pull it out real quick, and I have a better chance of, you know, getting a quick panic knife or I can spam the trigger because it's a powerful pistol. Um, the equipment doesn't matter, except portable ra <coughs> excuse me, portable radar is more of a necessity. Just because with portable radar, you can throw it down and you'll be able to see all the enemies around you. And since it's mostly building warfare, you can throw it around, you can throw it down in a building and basically see it around the whole building. The Shin Conditioning Pro is a good must. You want to be running fast. Assassin Pro, again, because, you know, you people are just going to use everything, like UAVs and stuff, you want to know that you're not going to show up on them. Marksman is also a very, very must, so when you can so you can actually see people that you wouldn't see before. And um, Specialist is perfect for this map, especially when you run Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker, for obvious reasons. So when you are on the Inner Circle team, you want to start off not capping A, and kind of running right through A and blowing it off. You want to actually go right to C and get some spawn kills. The best way to do that is run straight up here, and you want to go right on top of this rock, and boom! Whole entire C there. Now there's two strategy, strategies you can take. You can start killing everyone at C, or you can actually start spamming the, um, what's it called? The car, but that's also not the best idea, because as you can see, I took a whole clip to the car, and it barely even moved. It'd probably take, like, two clips. So you don't want to go for the car unless you have an explosive. If you have like a small uh, or something, you can shoot it right at the car. So after that, your best bet is actually not going to C or not going to the construction building. You want to actually run through here. You have two options from this point. You can go right here and kind of sit here and wait for the people to come, but they also can come behind you trying to get to B. Your best bet is actually going to be running through here and going up these stairs. You want to turn right here and stop. The next, the other only way up is these stairway right here. You can start picking people off here, but there's some people that are not going to cap C. Start getting some pick, pickings off there, get some free kills. You want to run right here. You can probably get at least one person there or one person there, some stragglers. Next thing's next, you just want to run here, straight up top, and boom, you are on top of B, and you basically just ran yourself probably a six or seven kill streak in about a minute into the game. Now that is if you're feeling more, you know, daring and more rushing. So now I'm going to tell you what you guys should do if you spawn on the delta side of the area. Again, skip the spawn point. That is, um, that was my, you know, biggest thing is skipping the spawn cap for this one because people are not. I'm not the only one who's, who's going to do what I just told you guys. So you kind of want to skip here, and you want to go right to B, because most people are going to go right for A or, or go right to the construction building. No one's really going to go for B. So your best bet is running through here and going right here, which is the best capping point for B. No one's going to tell you're capping B yet since it's spawn, and the only place you have to really worry about is this door right here, where people are going to be running to the cap B. Most people are not going to come through this way, and even if people do, you're going to be laying, you're going to be kneeling right here. You can easily turn around and pick them off. Um, so those are the two biggest strategies I have for you guys. And um, after you cap B, your best bet is actually running through here. You want to jump here, kind of fail, and go through here. You're going to see some people coming up these stairs, some people here. You can probably run here, get some free kills there, and... Um, Start picking them off back at the spawn after you just killed them over there. So again, this is kind of like the best um, advice for starting off at the spawn points. So um, now let's talk about kind of more into the gameplay, not right after spawn. Because 
that's going to work right after spawn, but that's not what you guys are going to do during the middle of the gameplay. So this map is kind of cut into um, four sections. You have the mansion, construction site, the red building, and the plane. These are where most of the battles are going to be at. Adom is kind of left out. There's really nothing over at Adom that's very important. It's kind of all there by itself. There's a building over there, but it's kind of useless. You can't really go anywhere in it. So first, let's talk about where all the heavy fire is going to be taking place. You're going to have a lot of people with Type 95, ACRs, a lot of snipers picking each other off from this building here and vice versa. That's where you're going to have a lot of the battle. You're also going to have to fight for B a lot. A and C are not going to be touched at all unless you have people sneaking around. B is where you're going to have most of the fight. So you want to make sure you kind of stay out of this building in general, in my opinion. Because you're going to have people coming up from B getting you. You're going to have people across here getting you. And if your team does not take over construction building, you're going to have people coming over here. So in my opinion, the best spawn you guys can get is the inner circle. Because after you take A and you take B, you want to, well actually you want to have kind of like a team effort. You want to have like two people take A, two people take B, and two people come here. One person does the first round I said, and the second person should come over here. Right here is a, actually a great spot um, in the uh, construction building. This is pretty heavy fire, but not really. But you're so open here that nobody ever goes here. You're going to be getting shot down right here. You can get shot down easily from over here, because you also got to remember this is made out of plywood. This is so easy to shoot through. So your best bet is actually coming to the stairwell and just picking people off. No one's going to be able to see you. They're just going to see a actually a little tiny head. And just look at that. You're not going to be able to see anyone. The only disadvantage of that spot is, you know, getting shot through the plywood. So the mansion is kind of a dead spot in my opinion. I mean, yes, you can get sit here and snipe people, but it's kind of hard because there's no good, good spot. The only good spot there is is this balcony that most people don't actually know about. You can actually stay here, kind of come out, get a couple kills, move back in, reload, and you kind of have this whole entire building around here and locked down, as well as kind of the uh, wing of the plane. Another good spot is if your team has B, you can actually run up to here and aim down this doorway. This is the main doorway which I'll show you guys right now, that most people, that's the only way to get to B, basically. The only other way is to come through this wing area, but nobody's going to go there because they're just going to keep getting picked off by the guys in the mansion. So that spot right there is probably an amazing spot. No one would ever think to look there. And um, it kind of goes the other way around, too. If you are trying to cat B and the other team is coming for you, they're not going to go through this way again because of the people in the red building. You can kind of sit right around here and take them all off coming down this way. Um, another good spot if you're more into the camping area is if you can probably set like a claymore down there or as I said a portable radar and kind of chill up here. Um, you can chill in this corner kind of pick off, you know, get a decent view of the red building and since there's only one doorway to go through, you get a decent view of there but you got to be careful because as you guys can see, there is a good line of sight down this way so somebody you know, per se, could just be, you know, walking down here and kind of get a little bit of a glimpse of you up there and just pick you off pretty easily. Again, this building is kind of obsolete, and this is the final building that, um, you know, most battle is going to be taking place. This wing, it, at all costs, I would avoid. If you run up this way, you're basically in a dead man zone. You are going to be picked off from every direction. You can get picked off from the plane, from the mansion, from some views on the construction house and people up here. Your best bet is actually what I um, already said before. You want to come up here, you can do this jump and get up here, but, you know, still leaves you a little bit vulnerable. And um, the best bet, if people are getting, you know, destroyed, come up here like I just did, and, you know, you can get some kills here, get some kills here, and, um, you know, just kind of go all around. Another good bet, um, a good way, good strategy, I mean, if you are in this building, is if you are, say, trying to get up these stairs, you see somebody right here shooting you. You know they're waiting for you right there. There's two things you can do. One is kind of harder. You can jump right there, pick them off. That doesn't always work because, boom, you fell all the way down. Then you're kind of screwed. you got to have to, you know, struggle your way all the way back up here with the chance of being killed. So your best bet is if you know he's waiting there, this is what I always do. 
not even hesitate. Jump off here, do a little 360, boom, he's dead. Go right back up there. But also, you got to be careful because running through this area, a lot of people don't realize it. Perfect view from the mansion. So, um, this is all that I can tell you guys about right now of this map. Um, you got to be careful of some of the spots that you can fall and die. Um, if there's any more information become available, I will make an update video. But since this map is only one day old, this is all I really know. Just one more little tip and trick while I just remembered it. Um, you can actually, if you have CDOM, a really nice little strategy is jumping up on this truck. A lot of, this isn't a lot of the map. You get a nice little head glitch spot, um, of the Red House. It's not that good, but if you have marksmen, you can see people through the tree pretty good. You also can get a nice little view of that doorway to be, as I was talking about before. But this is more, again, of a camping spot, and I'm not much of a camping player. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please check out youtube.com slash Arctic Reapers for my channel. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. Peace.